Hi, welcome to third chapter in CSS3. This video is brought to you by Ankpro Training. In this video, we are going to discuss CSS3 border images. For latest update, please subscribe our channel. Border images. CSS border image property is used to add image border to some elements. Like the CSS border image property allows you to specify an image to be used instead of the normal border around an element. Border image property. Border image. A shortened property for setting all the border image properties. Border image source. Specify the path to the image to be used as a border. Border image slice. Specifies how to slice the border image. Border image width. Specifies the width of the border image. Border image outset. Specifies the amount by which the border image area extends beyond the border box. Border image repeat. Specifies whether the border image should be repeated or rounded or stretched. Syntax for the border image. The syntax is border image and passing the values as a URL, as an image file. So border image is a property, is a shortened property. Like example, border image is a property and URL image.jpg is a value. It means image file. Border image slice is 20. 20 is a value for the border image slice property. Border image width is a property and 50px is a value. Border image for cross browser. If you are using Mozilla browser, then you need to use instead of border image short, and you need to, you need to use as a MOZ border image, passing with the URL. For Chrome browser, Safari browser, or iPhone browser, or any Android browser, you need to use WebKit border image. If you are using Opera browser, then you, you need to use O border image. So these are all some border image for the cross browser. So this is the uh, output for the border image. The output will look like this border image. So let's go for the code demo. For code demo, I'm just opening my Visual Studio code. And I'm creating one file, HTML file as a name of border image. And I'm just selecting the HTML tag here. So after that, I am taking one paragraph here in body section. After taking the paragraph, I need to take it as a border for this. So for let me just set the height and width for this. So I'm just taking the style tag. Inside the style tag, I'm just passing the P as a tag name. And I'm just taking for this uh, paragraph as a height is 100px. And width I'm just taking here as a 250px. And I need float here. So left, left floating I want and margin I am using here it's a 80px and padding I am using 20px and border I am I want the border as a 20px solid red color I'll show you how normal border look like if I save this if I run the program so for that I'm just taking a copy path, open the browser and select the path here. You see the border will look like this. It's a normal border. But instead of red color, I want an image there. So how I need to do here, I'll just take transparent first because I don't want that color. So if you see the browser right now, if you refresh, it's a transparent. Okay. So let me just update the image in that border. So for that I just calling as a class this p tag and I'm giving as a name of 
and right now as a giving as a name here border so right now I'm going to just pass the style here so as I'm using class so I'll just put dot here border then as we know the property of the border image so border image source border image source is our property and after that we need to pass a URL so in this URL I want the image file so right now in our folder I doesn't have I doesn't have an image file so right now I am going to copy the image because I need to update the image here so I am going to copy the image and I will paste in my folder ok so for that I will go to my desktop so already I just download this image I just copy this image and let me open my folder here I am going to paste my image here because this of my folder and border image is my file I am going to paste here the image let the open my code so right now once I open my code it, you can able to see that this, this image I pasted here and this image also both the image so let's see the output for this so I need to just update her image I need to just enter the image here image name I'm just taking images.png because my image name is images.png I'm just taking the image so let's see the output of this image first okay let's see the how the borders look like I just save this file and let me just run in my once you see the border images is reflecting here but I want the whole border here so how I need to do is I'm taking here border image slice and I'm giving some 50 here so let's see the output see here the image should be like in the form of pieces the single image is the form of the pieces right now okay uh, but uh, I want this image should be repeatedly so I'll take here border image repeat and I just taken here repeat same thing and let me see the output for the Im image if you refresh you can see the image is repeating here the image is repeating here but I want some more images here then uh, I want some more pieces here then I'll, I'll increase the slice here if I increase instead of 50 100 you'll see the output see here so many pieces of the image is there Okay, I want the image should be in the space. I want some width of this image. So one more property we're using here: border image width. I'm using border image width here, and I'm taking here 80 px width. Okay, let's see the output for this. See here, if I just take in some width of the image, inside the content should be in covering with the image but I want should be content should be seen the white color and the image should be in the coming the border color because I just taken the width high number if I just reduce the width here instead of 80 I just reducing the 50 you'll see the output right now it sees it's decreasing there it means the width is increasing if I'm increasing the width the image width is also increasing here so um, example I just taken 80 only again and after that I'll show you border image outset if you take in the border image outset as I informed like it specifies the amount of by which the border image area extend beyond the border box it's going to extend beyond the border box so I just taken as a 50 px so once I taken as a 50 px you will see the output here see it's look like it's beyond the border image it's some little bit bigger okay so likewise so it little bit bigger so like I said, I'm going to take one more image for the example I show you
I just taken this as a border one. I will copy this. I'll paste here, and I'm giving as a border one here as a name. And after that, I'm using the same. Instead of the repeat, I am using stretch output. It's look like this. Okay, so let's go for another one more image example. I'm just taking one more and I'm giving as a border two. I just copy and paste only the same content of the paragraph and I'm again as a copy and paste this same and I'm giving as a two here and instead of this I'll just use as a space here okay and uh, I just use this a uh, holy image because I'm using this holy image I just copied here and giving the same let's see the output for this holy image okay let's refresh okay now you can able to see you know this are like a space uh, but uh, I want some uh, image should be here come here so I just put some slice here more I just increasing the slice of the pieces of the image if I refresh you can see right now space so our output is looking like this these are the images properties you can use so what are the properties we can use here border image outset border image width border image repeat border image slice border image source so these are all we are used some image properties if you want to use the shortened property so that also let me just show you I just copy this and I just paste here and I'll give the border 4 sorry border 3 and uh, let me just use dot border 3 and use the border image I'm using a border image after that I'm just passing the URL in URL I'm using the holy image itself same holy image I'm using here holy dot jpg and after that I need to pass a slice so I'll take in some slice like a 200 I just taken the slice after that I need I want like it's a rounded way or repeat like a, it's a repeated way or it's like stretch I need something okay so I just taken stretch here after that stretch you'll see the output refresh see the output is looking like because it's totally stretch is a single image but it stretched all the border if I want repeat I can use repeat here save let's see the output again see right now it's repeating the image one by one so this is our output for the border image you can see the border image okay subscribe to our channel like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter join our group on LinkedIn thank you